hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting video in this video series and in this video we are going to learn about the interface and workspaces of adobe illustrator one question that i am often asked by people uh, in which they say that their workspace and user interface of adobe illustrator does not look exactly like mine there is a simple reason for that and that is because i changed the workspace of my software to suit my needs on the type of graphic design that i'm working on i will later on in this video tell you how you can do the same so let's get started with the interface first of all on top of everything here yeah, there is the menu bar or also called the fly menu this might be a little different for pc users and Macintosh users but there is not that much of a difference rather than the difference of appearance all the options are the same in both of software or both of the computer users below that is the main document area or also called the work area in here you will make different projects or different shapes and things and you will design different things all of those things are here this is your document size that we create in our past video 1280 by 720 everything inside this will be seen in the final project if anything is outside of here in this gray area it will not be shown on the left side of the main document area we have the tool panel or also called the tool menu it displays all the tools that are used to make different type of shapes or graphic design in Adobe Illustrator tools are sometimes displayed in this single line as you can see right now or they can also be shown in two lines by just clicking on this small arrow just like this it's just a personal preference some people prefer it in two lines some people prefer it in one line it does not matter that much i will not talk about the usage of these tools right now there is a special dedicated video for that in which i will talk about the de in detail about the usage of tools and what these different tools do this video is about the interface of adobe illustrator so we will focus on that below the document area there is also a navigation bar or small area Area. here you can do a number of things you can here you can increase and decrease the size or the zoom level or the scaling of your work area you can also change the number of artboard for example we have only one artboard here but if you have many artboard we can navigate to it very easily on the right side we have panels for example this is a panel called properties panel here different properties of our of our selected shapes will be displayed for example let me create a simple square shape as soon as i create this simple square shape different properties pop up here for example its fill color property and i can change its fill color by selecting this yellow i can also change its stroke from here to something red or pinkish i can also align it different panels pop up here depending on what sort of shape you have selected here in the document area also the layer panel is just on the side of the properties panel here you can arrange your documents in different shape layers and you can uh, you can organize the hierarchy if there is a particular panel that you require and it is not shown here then you can go to windows and click on any panel that you like for example if you want the panel of colors to be displayed then click on it and it will be displayed if you want to use it as a flying window or panel like this then you can adjust it somewhere and it can be used like this but if you want to dock it or make it part of the properties panel or any other panel here then you can do it also here i will put it below here the color guide and the color panel are now part of it now let me open another panel for example the panel of gradients i will also dock it here now you can see i have changed the workspace now you can see that i have changed the workspace of my software from the one that we have started what if i don't like this arrangement of workspace how do i go back to the original workspace well that is very easy that's what i'm going to tell you next by going to this button in the top which says switch workspace if you click on it then you are given an option of different workspace depending on your need you can open different types of workspaces that are more suited to that type of graphic design for example if you want to do tracing 
then click on the workspace called tracing and it will open those panels that are used for tracing if you want to do something with painting then click on the workspace painting and it will change your workspace it is most suited for painting for example brushes panels are open and color swatches are open color panel is open here and related panels are also given here in the side menu by the way you can increase the size of these menus also and decrease it and if you want to increase your document area you can also collapse this property panel area and it will give you more real estate here for the document area to view your artwork even in a larger area but if you don't want this you can just go back to your original workspace and click on essentials and if you want to reset it then come down to this option which says reset essential workspace and it will change its appearance back to the original workspace of essentials with which we started this program there is one more workspace here it is called essential classic some of you guys might remember or recognize this workspace because this was the normal or the standard workspace in the earlier versions of illustrator i also like to work in this workspace because i have been used to working in this workspace for years now this interface has one more area here which is called the control panel this control panel depends on the type of shape that you have selected on the document area inside your work area if I have selected this a shape which is a plain stroke and fill color then it will display that sort of option but for example I create another another shape and give it a gradient and then select it then you can see the properties of the control panel are changed a little bit if i reselect my re rectangle shape then those options are changed again so i hope you guys are now familiar with the interface of adobe illustrator but before finishing this video i would like to tell you one or two more things by going into the edit menu and then coming down and opening the preferences in the preferences menu click on user interface there are some options that are given here you, with which you can change the whole appearance of your adobe illustrator software for example you might not like to work in this grayish dark grayish color you can change it to other colors for example this light gray or total white interface or totally dark interface i will prefer to work in this dark grayish color so i will leave it on that whatever color you choose that is up to your preferences and it does not affect the working of the software so i hope you guys have now learned something more about adobe illustrator and have become a little bit more familiar with this software i will see you in the next video goodbye for now